So last week we learned how to create simple generic objects using JavaScript object notation. So I can say, for example, name is Fred, job is instructor, and that creates an object. And the class of this object is just object, it's generic. And it has two properties. It has um, a name property and a job property. And uh, this is perfectly fine for lots of uses, but sometimes you want to share code and share properties across multiple different objects. And when that's the case, it makes sense to create a class. And uh, so a class is basically just a template for building objects. So if I want to build a whole lot of different uh, question objects, for example, then I can create a template and then create a new instance of that template for each um, question that I want. So let's go ahead and see how that works. I'm going to go to my survey.js file. And uh, in JavaScript, the way you define a class is you create a constructor for that class. So we saw before that for example, if you go to uh, document, which is an object, there's an HTML, or I'm sorry, there's a property on that object called constructor. And this is the name of the function that was used to construct this particular object. So what we're going to do is create a constructor for questions. And I'm going to use uppercase Q here because this is the name of a class. And then I can have a list of parameters that get passed into the object. I'll come back to that in a second. And then I'll close that function off. So this is a minimal constructor for question objects. It doesn't really do a whole lot. But if I reload it and I type question, I see there's a function called question. The way I use it is like this. Question one is new question, like so. And then if I look at Q1, I see that it's an object of type question. It has a proto property that's filled in automatically. And we're not going to worry about that much just yet. And it doesn't really have much else to start with. So let's go ahead and put some properties on there. So I want to have for each question, I want to have a title for that question and I want to have a blob of HTML, um, which is what the question is about. So for example, if it's not entirely clear already, um, for example, a question is, what is your yearly income? Open brand, please include income from all sources. Or um, which, please select all income slash loan sources that apply and so on. So that's the question. And then I'm also gonna have a title for each question that I, I'm gonna use at the end to print a summary. So if, what is your yearly income? The title for that might be yearly income. And uh, this might be income slash loan sources and zip code and so on. So since each question is going to have a title and a text, I'm going to make those be parameters to the constructor, title and text. And that way, every time I create a question, I'll pass in those two values and it'll get stored in the question object. But now, how do I actually store it on the question object? What I want to do is I want to have a title property on the new object that I'm creating that has this value in it, whatever I pass in. And so I need to have a way of accessing the object that's being constructed so that I can set the title property. The way you do that is through a magic keyword called this. So this, inside of the constructor, and in fact inside of any method on an object, is like a local variable that, whose value is the object that you're running that method or constructor on. So when I call the question constructor using new question, JavaScript is going to create a new object and then bind that object to a local variable inside of here called this. And if I want to set the title property of that object to be this value, I say 
this dot title equal title. And if I want to store the text value on a text property, this dot text equals text, like so. So now let's go ahead and try it. I'm going to go ahead and reload. And I'm going to say Q1 is new question. And then the question title is going to be income. And then the text will be please select all sources of income, or whatever the text is. So now if I look at Q1, the class is question, and it has two properties initialized. It has title, which is income, and text, which has please select all sources of income. So the uh, title and text are going to be different for most question objects, but then there's also going to be some common functionality. So for example, one thing that I might want to be able to do with every single question object I create is convert the question to HTML. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to attach a property to the, this object, which converts the title and text to HTML. And that's going to be a function and a function that's on an object as a property is called a method. So let's see what that looks like. So this dot to HTML is equal to a function, which is going to do some stuff. And what it's going to do is, let's say there's a local variable called result, which starts empty, and then result plus equals, and let's use a header 2 here. I'm going to use a header 1 for my main page. So header 2. And then we're going to access this dot title. And then we're going to close off our h2 property. I'm sorry, close off our h2 tag. And let's go ahead and put a backslash n in there. And then I'm also going to add paragraph plus this dot text plus slash paragraph backslash n. And then I'm going to return result. So now let's go ahead and reload. And I'm going to set question one to be a new question. If I look at it, I see I still have the same properties, but if I open it, there's also a to HTML method, which is a function. So let's try it. So the H2 income, please select all sources of income. And let's go ahead and store that in this box here for now. So document.get element by ID questions dot inner HTML is equal to q1.2 HTML. 